Hi Taurus, Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, this is your energy reading between the 5th to the 11th of July 2021 or thereabouts. The universal timing is fluid, it's not rigid or structured like the earth-based uh, timing is. So, But it's round and about um, those dates, perhaps a little bit um, beyond also. Um, but um, I've shuffled the cards, Taurus, to get your energy into the cards. Um, so I'll just do a final shuffle, but just to say to the general reading, so um, take what resonates for you, but leave what doesn't for somebody else. So I'll just do a final shuffle now of the um, Tarot of Dreams. Let's see what the energies want to say to you at this time, Taurus. So we have the heart of your reading, what's on your mind at the moment. Uh, the root of the matter, past influences, the future going forward, and then something else that your energies would like to say to you at this time. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Um, and this is this is making a, a decision. This is, if you can think of coming to a fork in the road and you have to decide which way to go. So it looks like there's a fork in the road coming up for you. Um, and whichever path, the path, it's two different paths you can you can take um two quite different um directions um that you can take now so and and it could be this is could be coming in after a period of time after a period of planning after a period perhaps of conjecture um but there is an opportunity coming up where you're going to be um you'll have an option of of going in a certain direction or two different directions. All right, so I'll just pop that to one side, see where this is going. I'll just do a final shuffle now of the Light Seers Tarot. For some of you, it may be that you've already made that decision and, and perhaps this reading is going to reveal something about that, but let's see. We have got two cards jumped out and we'll have a quick look at them. We have the Queen of Wands and the Four of Swords. The Queen of Wands is very much um, a fire wand energy. Um, this is about being fired up with something, something very creative. and It's very much a, an entrepreneur energy um, that's bringing you um, or that promises lots of joy. Um, the Queen of Wands is very active. She's very active energy. She doesn't sit around. Um, but it's very passionate with what she does. So that's jumped out of it. But we've also got the Four of Swords, which is having a break, having a rest from matters to do with the heart. Emotions, for example. So having a rest from emotions, uh, but perhaps getting fired up about perhaps um, a creative endeavour. So let's see. I'll just pop that back in. I'll do two more shuffles, please. Two more shuffles for Taurus. I'll just lay these on top for a bit of depth and clarity. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, and this is about um, working hard to perfect um, a skill. Um, perhaps being very focused, burning the midnight oil if you like, um, having multiple tasks that you're working on all at the same time, bringing, bringing things together so working hard, being very focused. So um, let's see. So at the heart of your reading, um, Taurus, we have judgment, which is the lead energy and the Ace of Cups. Um, so the judgment, this is a time of rebirth for you. Um, it's a time of standing up now um, and looking at a situation, looking at, at it squarely in the eye. Um, Learning from the past, I think that's one of the big messages to do with the judgment energy is, you know, what went well in the past as a result of decisions made or behaviours or thought processes? What what worked well, but what didn't work well? So if this is a time of rebirth, ready to go forward, you know, choosing um, a new direction, perhaps a new pathway. Well, what you don't want to do, Taurus, is... Um, 
take old energies with you that haven't worked well. Um, you know, don't make the same mistakes if you like. Think what has worked well and take those forward. So um, it's a beautiful energy for you here now. It's an, a new opportunity now is presenting itself. Could we have something to do with work because of the Eight of Pentacles energy here? But the clarifier is the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is, um, this is about a new beginning, a new opportunity presenting itself that is meaningful for your heart. Um, but you've still got to look after your heart at the same time. It's something new, so it's still vulnerable. So it needs nurturing and looking after at this time of rebirth. So I'll just pop those down. So that's at the heart of your reading. Um... Taurus. So what, what's on your mind at the moment? Well, we have the Palace of Cups and the King of Swords. Um, the Palace of Cups is the home environment to do with family, love, relationships, emotions. The Clarifier is the King of Swords. Now, I'm looking at the King of Swords. He's looking across at this Palace of Cups. And this... King of Swords could be an aspect of yourself, Taurus, or it's somebody connected to you within this home environment. The King of Swords um, is very much a, um, an air energy, is very much a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, the King of Swords is very logical, is very much of the mind, is very clinical in his thought processes. He's a strategist. Um, it doesn't allow emotions to dictate the order of things, so he strategizes. Um, he knows what the moves that needs to be made for the um, destiny that is that is you know the journey he's on. Wherever it is, is what he's hoping to manifest. He knows how to manifest um, because he strategizes. He knows the moves he needs to make. Um, doesn't mean it's, it's it's not a bad energy. This is just, you know, King of Swords energy. This is he he is um, he is purely of the mind. He knows how to get to where he's going, and he knows this is something about he's thinking deeply and logically um, about this home environment, the family home environment. Now, this is what's on your mind at the moment, Taurus. So this is either an aspect of yourself, the King of Swords, or it's somebody connected to you, but definitely within um, your home environment. So at the root of this situation, we have the Two of Coins and the Seven of Swords. So the Two of Coins, this is about balance, a need for balance, um, juggling, things being up in the air at the moment. Perhaps things being not quite in balance, not quite in harmony in some area and, and things are a little bit up in the air at the moment. Could be to do with money, work, income. It could be to do with that sort of a situation, but it doesn't have to be. It can be any sort of an energy. Um, and then we have the Seven of Swords as a clarifier. Now, the Seven of Swords is very much the thief in the night energy. Um... So this is taking something that doesn't belong. Um, you see the hooded figure out in the middle of the night at the moonlight and he's taking the tail feathers that belong to the crows and so they don't belong to him and he can't use them really but, the, but the, it's causing harm to the crows. So it's, that, you know, it's a very devious um, energy. Um, now... Sometimes this can this energy can relate to uh, sabotage um, and also self sabotage. Um, so when we sabotage something that's um, positive or promising for us, we we sort of sabotage it because it's too difficult to go there, or we or we're not ready for those experiences. So something's up in the air at the moment. Um, but this is at the root of it, so this is already in place. So there was a need for balance, a need for juggling energy. Um, and 
and part of the energy, part of what you are juggling is an energy to do with um, sabotage or um, somebody being somebody being um, untruthful perhaps or devious and that's what that they're the energies that you are you have been struggling or juggling with okay so that's at the root of it for some of you Tora so what are the past influences well we have the world and the lovers The world, this is about, so this is this has happened in the past and there's been a completion of a cycle. A completion of a cycle um, ready for taking a leap of faith for a new beginning. And it's to do with a relationship. Now, it can be an intimate relationship or it could be a relationship, a business close relationship. Um, a close friendship, for example, a family, close family relationship of some sort. Um, work colleagues who were very close. So there's been a completion of a cycle ready for a new beginning and it's to do with a relationship of some sort. And this has already happened. This is already, These are the past influences that have led on to this time of rebirth and a new beginning for what's meaningful for your heart. But of course, at the root of it, something was up in the air, um, and there was an energy around of sabotage, or um, a bit of a sneaky energy. So, a decision to be made about a direction to go, um, and what you're thinking about is um, applying logic to um, a home situation or somebody connected to you applying logic to a home situation. But certainly there's lot, you know, you've been working very hard, juggling everything, lots of, lots of um, issues or lots of energies. You've been juggling lots of jobs, perhaps, um, keeping the cogs going. So going forward into the near future, we've got the lovers again. So we've had the lovers in the past. It would appear to be an intimate relationship, this close intimate relationship, because we've got the lovers again and we've got the Knight of Cups. So going forward for some of you, Taurus, there's this uh, very close relationship um, and somebody ho offering their cup of love here. We've got the Knight of Cups has got off his horse and he's brought his bouquet of red roses forward, his offering. This is a love, a love offer here being offered going forward. A message of love. So I think that's pretty clear, isn't it? For somebody or for a few of you Taurus. So what do your guides want to say to you? Okay. Well, we have the Three of Cups and we have the Ten of Cups. So again, Cups, as you as you know, is about um, what's meaningful for our heart. Um, love and relationships, happiness, joy, contentment, often. Um, the Ten of Cups is, is the home, the family, the happy ever after family situation where all the cups are full and you have everything that you want within that lovely, this lovely home environment. Now, that is clarifying this Three of Cups. And this Three of Cups, for me as a reader, has two different meanings. So, in its purest sense, and this could well be the meaning of it because it's connected with the Ten of Cups. The Three of Cups... Um, in its purest sense, this is about celebration, coming together, celebrating um, happiness and, and success, you know, and coming together to celebrate the um, achievements, happiness and success. And, and that's within this um, home, happy home situation, environment. Okay. Now, I'm just going to tell you the other, the other stream, the other message 
um, to do with the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups for me, also as a reader, um, is about third party situation. Um, now, third party situation can be somebody else that interferes or gets in the way of a relationship. It can be to do with um, somebody's addiction or obsession or temptations, if you like, they get in the way of um, a relationship. Um, sometimes it's an illness, it's an illness that can interfere um, with the smooth running of, of a relationship, an illness of some sort. Um, uh, and of course, if this is, if it is a third party interference, then that um, w would have an impact within a, a family, a happy family situation. So I'm just going to put that out there, the, the two different scenarios there. Um, and for whoever this reading is for, um, Taurus, I'm sure you'll have an understanding um, of what, what this means for you. Okay, uh, right. So I'm just going to get two final messages. Right, can we have two final messages for Taurus, please, to conclude this reading? Two final messages for Taurus, please, to conclude this reading. Two final messages, please, for Taurus, to conclude this reading. Right, Taurus, we have grounding, first of all. So go deep and explore your roots. Beautiful energy. And then grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. So grounding. So, I mean, you are an earth energy, uh, Taurus. So it's very important that you do ground yourself every now and again uh, in how, whichever way you do that best. So, you know, it's either by going next to water, meditating next to water, relaxing, leaning against the tree, reading a book. Um, wrapping yourself in nature's colours can help with grounding also. Having a bath, having a shower, taking time out, rest and relaxation. Um, but there's a need now to, to dig deep. Um, and also in exploring your roots. So... You know, what is it that motivates you to um, make the decisions that, that you make? What is it that motivates you? Um, where are your foundations? Where have your roots gone down? So this is about digging deep, um, but also um, grounding. But digging deep to get the answers, perhaps, um, into what, what motivates you for going forward. Okay. Um, and then grace and gratitude. So through gratitude, joy expands. So we see the lady here. She's got some blossom from the blossom tree dropping into her hand. Um, and, and it re creates quite a lot of emotion within her. She thinks it's beautiful and she loves. There's still little petals going into her hand. So this is just appreciating that which, which you have, um, which nature provides also. Just little things, small things in life that are very, very, very important and very meaningful. And as you are, you know, as you are appreciating these little things, then your joy, your joy within yourself and around you is going to expand. So beautiful energy there. Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. Beautiful energies. All right, I'm going to leave it there, um, Taurus. Um, whoever this was for, I hope you've enjoyed the reading that has given you a little bit of clarity and understanding and a little bit of support also um, for for going forward um, okay okay I hope you can join me again Taurus and um, good luck going forward bye bye for now